Ooh, 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 look at that. You see that? You know what they say, where there's squirrel poop, there's a squirrel that just ate. Hey, how's it going? Nice cool day, as you can tell by my breath. Nope, not smoking. I am out in the little shed where my usually store a lot of my wood tools and stuff like that because I don't, uh, I don't know, if I'm, if I'm working on something, I'll take them on the house. But I do have an idea. I've been watching a little squirrel kind of fooling around the back deck there and uh, during COVID, give me something to do to watch him. And I've got some scrap wood and stuff here. I'm just cutting up some pieces. I've got a vision in my mind. I don't want to make a... A squirrel feed of this too easy for the little fella. You know, I want to sit and have my coffee in the morning and uh, and watch him fun, have fun trying to get the the nuts. So I uh, think that's what I'm going to put in is probably those big peanuts. And and I saw a little, I got a concept or an idea that I saw on the uh, Pinterest. I think you guys call it. And uh, yeah, so I'm out here. It's cold. I got gloves on. I'll take those off when I'm obviously running the table saw and whatnot, but I'm going to chop some wood up and I'm going to make a little project. We'll see how it works out. Could be a total flop, but give me something to do today since there's no uh, car fixing to do. All right, stand by. Okay, so I've got a few basic concepts uh, cut out for my uh, my bar here to feed the squirrel. I think this is going to be my base. I've got some sides to get back. I need a bit of a a shorter piece than the base it's going to be like a tabletop for because you've got to be able to enjoy those peanuts uh, I've got a piece of old plexiglass that I'm going to I'll put a little bit of a I don't know what you call it a rabbit or a groove in here in the table saw both sides I slide that glass in but I need um, hmm, I need some sort of top okay I'm not sure exactly what this material is but uh, let's see how it cuts in the table saw it looks like somebody cut it before but kind of burn through it, so not sure, Let's give it a try. Oh boy, that cut great in the table saw. Nice edge on it, so hopefully that size is gonna work for me. See if we can figure it this out. This is where the glass goes in. Okay. <laughs> not all go together it's just a <laughs> it was cold out there this is on, goes on the back I'm guessing there you go Tracy figured it out so that's the rough concept let's put it together all right moved everything into the garage it was a little warmer I had some old stain that was a little bit in this can now this is pecan this is a darker one and I just dumped some of the darker one into the, the lighter one until I got a color I liked. So it makes it a little more rustic, my little, little outside bar, squirrel bar. So parts are all cut, a little stain on them. I probably assemble it and then I'll put on uh, some bare thing or something, just a additional protection. So move on to the next step. All right, before I nail this together with my air nailer, I just want to do a little dry fit. Just kind of a little placement of everything. Plexiglass on here as well. Let's head that there. Plexiglass on here as well. And everything fits up. I don't have to do any extra cutting or anything, so did pretty good there. All right, put some air nails in it. I have to kind of determine what the spacing is going to be right here, but uh, I think I can make some adjustments. But I'll put the sides on the back, the bottom for sure, and the back piece. And then I can always slide the plexiglass back in where I have this little, little slot cut in there. And this, of course, will have to be hinged because that's how I'm going to put nuts inside this little squirrel feeder. All right, let's uh, put some nails on it. We've got it all kind of screwed, air nailed together. This top piece, I screwed it in because I may have to adjust this up and down. The top. Remember, this is all just old pieces of wood and stuff, so I need a hinge for this top. Get a couple of these kind of fancy. That's off an old screen door. Something else I must have got at a yard sale or from a buddy here. It's kind of fancy brass, but I think these ones. This one here looks pretty neat, so let's put that on the back. Let's 
so that I can finish this up to put the peanuts in it. What I've got to figure out now, I've got the plexiglass in here, but I need to figure out what height do I put this so that makes it tricky to pull the peanuts out. You know, I want they want to be able to pull out, but you want the squirrel to work at a little bit. And you can sit here. The other thing I'm going to do is put a few obstacles uh, on this bar. Maybe I'll put a couple of these posts down through and along here so that the squirrel has to work the peanuts out past them as well. So that's my other thing I'm going to do. And uh, well, you, for a bar, you got to have some stools. I'm thinking about just using uh, some wine bottle corks. Yeah, you know, they're good for the weather. So just basically corks with little tops on them. So that's where I'm at with it so far. And uh, when I get more done, I'll show you that. I don't want to waste all this video just showing you the build. You want to see it in action, right? All right, let's have one of these and continue on. Oh yeah. She is essentially complete. And just need a little signage. You know, how else will the squirrels know that there's some nice tasty treats in here? So we'll glue that baby on. Once that's once that's dry, and that's it. I got a little roof. We'll have to figure out how to latch that down because squirrels are pretty smart. And uh, yeah, when this dries, I'll show you how it works. All right, there it is. In all its beauty, glory. So get out here on the railing. I've overhung it so that he actually has to, my buddy has to sit here. And we've got, I uh, didn't fully load it with nuts because uh, I don't have the top fastened down. I don't want to show you this too much because he may be watching. And let's just put this small supply in there and see what happens. Some obstacles here. And Tracy says it might be too hard to get them out, but my friend Ann says, oh no, he will destroy this if he has to, to get in there for those nuts, or he might just live in there and bring the whole family. But, you know, I, I can't get one out, but I'm sure my buddy the squirrel will figure it out. So he can sit at this bar and uh, work his way in there and see if he can get a nut, the old nut bar. All right, stand by. Checking on the nut bar. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. You see that? And you know what they say. Where there's squirrel poop, there's a squirrel that just ate. And I saw him rustling around in here. You can see little bum marks. And Paul Prince, he's been digging around, but I think he gets stuck. Luck trying to get that big one out. So. And he's got to work away around those pegs I put there in order to uh, have himself a little snack. He hasn't figured out how to get this top lifted yet. My buddy Ann thinks that he'll just flip that open. I never put a lock on it, so I don't know. He'll be back. He'll be back. He's in that tree somewhere. Down in the shed.